been practicing to be in the Sparky Show. Wow, you're really good at that. <laughs> I know, I am pretty talented. Oh, here come the sea lions. <gasps> Where? And um, I'm just gonna head out this way. The Sparky Show has been around since 1956, but despite all her fame, people still sometimes wonder, is Sparky a seal or a sea lion? It can be a little difficult to tell if you don't know what to look for, so today let's talk all about the similarities and differences between seals and sea lions, and that way the next time you visit Como, you can be a Sparky expert. First, let's take a look at some seals and sea lions. Can you tell them apart? How do they look the same and different? All right, well, in case you couldn't see anything, let's learn to tell them apart. Seals and sea lions belong to a group of animals called pinnipeds. That's a big word that just means fin-footed. So instead of feet, they have fins or flippers. That includes all seals, sea lions, fur seals, and walruses. Seals and sea lions are both made for life in the water and on land. Sea lions use their large front flippers to pull themselves through the water and their hind flippers for steering. Seals, on the other hand, use their stubby front flippers for steering and their hind flippers for pushing them through the water. Sea lions can rotate their hind flippers, so when they get on land, they can use those hind flippers almost like feet to walk around. Seals can't rotate their hind flippers and can't walk on land. Instead, they have to bloop along like an inchworm. Those large front flippers help sea lions like Nico here move quickly through the water Seals can swim about 12 miles an hour in the water, which is twice as fast as humans. But sea lions win the water race swimming up to 30 miles an hour in the water. Sea lions may be fast, but seals win the breath holding competition. Humans can hold their breath about 30 seconds. Sea lions can hold their breath up to 20 minutes. But seals on average can hold their breath 30 minutes. And the world record goes to the elephant seal they can hold their breath up to two hours underwater. That's like if you held your breath through an entire movie. Both seals and sea lions have long whiskers. If you were a pinniped, you would use these whiskers to sense vibrations in the water, including a fish that have swum by. Pinniped whiskers are so sensitive, it would be like having another hand on your face. In fact, those whiskers even help them to balance a ball on their nose. That's what I need, more whiskers. All pinnipeds have a layer of fat under their skin called blubber. We might be really able to rely on coats and snowsuits to stay warm in the winter, but they need to rely on this layer of fat to stay warm in cold ocean waters. But finally, there's one really great way to tell apart seals and sea lions. Their ears! Sea lions, like Subi here, have tiny little ear flaps on the side of their heads, just like we do, but a little smaller. Seals don't have ear flaps, they just have a small hole in the side of their head. So if you see a pinniped with tiny little ears, you know that you're looking at a sea lion. All right, you can tell apart seals and sea lions, so now it's time for your next test before you become a sparky expert, telling apart individual animals. Como has two gray seals, Stanley and Wally. You can tell apart gray seals from other types of seals because gray seals have horse-shaped heads. Our two seals are easy to tell apart. Stanley has a scar around his neck from when he was entangled in plastic twine in the ocean. Both Stanley and Wally have old eye injuries from when they were in the wild and can no longer see, but they do just fine here at Como. Como also has two harbor seals, Cash and Killian. You can tell harbor seals apart from our gray seals because they have puppy dog shaped heads. These two are harder to tell apart. Killian has a darker belly and is slightly larger than Cash. Finally, Como has four sea lions. Poppy, Nico, Subi, and Cece. Poppy is our youngest female sea lion. She is small and has stubbier whiskers. Nico is our only male sea lion. 
You can tell him apart from his dark black color and his big forehead. Subi is our largest female sea lion. You can tell her apart because she has a slit in one of her rear flippers from a shark injury when she was a young sea lion in the wild. Subi is also the current star of the Sparky Show. And last but not least, we have Cece. She is Como's oldest and smallest sea lion. She is blind in one eye and is usually hanging out inside her own personal hot tub. All right, you've all reached expert level. You can tell apart a seal and a sea lion. You can tell apart a gray seal and a harbor seal. And you can identify some of our individual animals at Como. Your final test, next time you're at Como, stop in and see if you can find an individual animal that you recognize. Boy, I sure wish I knew how to balance this ball a little better on my nose. Subi, can you give me a demo? Wow, I guess I have a lot more practicing to do. See you all next time.